Hello, everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. What a blessing it is every day to be able to go to the Word of God, to retrieve information from the Lord God Almighty to enhance our life and living in this world. Uh, that's the design of this podcast, is just to go through the Word of God, allow His Holy Spirit to teach us. And that's why we go to prayer every time we begin one of these lessons together. Uh, we ask him and invite him to be with us and to help us in our studies. Pray with me, if you will. Heavenly Father, we do thank you for your word again today. Every day we have an opportunity to learn from you. Lord, we're just so grateful that we have this tool in our hands to discover the ways of you, Almighty God, and to know that your Holy Spirit is our true teacher and that our enabler to be able to keep the things that we learn. It's just a blessing, oh God. So we thank you for your word today. We invite you to be among us. I know you will be. Teach us by your Holy Spirit the truths you want us to know and empower us to live according to those truths. And we'll give you thanks for doing so in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is Rich Men. It's taken from the book of Micah chapter 6 and verse 12. As the Lord continued to chastise the people within the city, Micah the prophet wrote of his displeasure with the businessmen because they used inaccurate scales and bags with deceitful weights to take advantage of their patrons. Though these men thought they were escaping judgment for their wicked ways, the Lord was watching, and there was no running from his eyes. In chapter 6 and verse 12 of his prophecy, Micah writes more concerning these rich men who were full of violence, lies, and deceit, where we read, For the rich men thereof are full of violence, and the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies, and their tongue is deceitful in their mouth. The verse begins, For the rich men thereof are full of violence. Micah refers to the businessmen of the city as he declared, For the rich men are the wealthy, haughty, and impious men, Thereof are full, which means filled, armed, accomplished, and satisfied of violence or wrong, cruelty, injustice, and oppression. These men were not wicked in a minor way, but they were full of cruelty and injustice. The the verse goes on to say, And the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies. In addition to the rich men being filled with violence, Micah said, And the inhabitants, which were those who dwelt, sat, remained, and abode within the city, thereof have spoken, or declared, conversed, commanded, promised, warned, and threatened lies, or disappointment, deception, and falsehood. Even the dwellers within the city spoke lies and deception with with one another. Finally, the verse says, And their tongue is deceitful in their mouth. Micah went on to add, and their tongue, which refers to their language or talk, is deceitful, which literally means letting down or relaxing and points to the lackness, laxness and slackness and treachery, which was in their mouth or in the part of the body used in speaking. In other words, when they spoke, their words were filled with deceit and treachery, and they demonstrated no care for anyone they harmed with their words. As we can see, the Lord's indictment against this, these wicked businessmen was pointed and direct. These men had become wealthy from their vicious and ungodly ways. And as we meditate upon their characteristics, a personal inventory might be a good idea. Do we have violent ways about us? Have we spoken lies to others in whom we have to do? Is our tongue deceitful in our mouths when we engage in business with other people? If any of these are true, let us heed the warnings given to these rich men. And may we turn from our wicked ways to the true and living God through his son, Jesus Christ. Next time, Micah writes how the Lord will make the rich men sick and desolate. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.